will ask you to excuse my English. Uh, like you hear, 49 years I speak Spanish. So it was not so easy for me to do it in English, but I prepare a PowerPoint where you can follow the principal ideas what I was speaking. What was the context before the social organization began? Migration. We have had a big migration to Lima because the political, economical centralism in the country. The people from the countryside were abandoned and with lack of opportunities. From the 80s to 2000, we suffer by the political violence from shining past and also the repression from the military. The immigrants settled in the periphery and Lima grow very quickly. You can see in the graphic by, by uh, how Lima was growing. They occupied land that lacked basic service and needs. Also, they suffered by discrimination. <coughs> Today, Lima has 9,800,000 inhabitants, 31% of all people from Peru, and 39% were originated from other parts of Peru. Now about the vulnerability. From the 70s on, there was an increase in the poverty and social exclusion, especially in the sectors where the immigrants settled, the periphery. There were needs for basic service, insatisfied. <coughs> so the women began to look for some alternatives, and so it was that from hunger, and exclusion, I, I forgot my, my age. <laughs> <laughs> they began to germinate little by little a social organization in response to common needs. The communication and dialogue between the women and to participate in the organization helped to increase the self-esteem and so, with the organizations, a new society formed with more and more presence of women in this section, it began the construction of a new identity. Development and consolidation of the social organization. Much from the poor came from the Andes and they bring the tradition and values, what facilitated to enfrent common problems. Some of the customs and values, I will tell some of this, solidarity and reciprocity, deep spirituality expressed by rituals and feasts and customs. This experience invites them in the fight against so much common problems. The Andean people value the life itself and also the life of the others. The vision was a community and cooperation because they need each other to do the hard work in the fields. They immigrated to Lima with the hope for a better life and also they bring their own feast and celebrated in Lima, like the home customs. In the case of the woman, from the marginalization emerged the transforming force. A key development was the experience of the women to do things together and learn that it is possible despite the machismo and marginalization. The reality in the community was that the men had got out to look for some work and incomes, and the women be home and had to enfrent the different problems. 
daily alimentation, health care, neighborhood management, water, and others. In 1906, they begin with the first soap kitchen, and it was management by the women. They brought together their knowledge and learned each from the other, and they do it very well. Little by little, they became interlocutors opposite the state to secure its participation and recognition in the management of these social programs and to contribute to more inclusive public policy. <coughs> Three experiences and form of social organization, I will really speak about the three. Women. The soap kitchen and organization, organization that helps them to learn how to organize for the work and the good, and the good success helps them to force their self-esteem. But the woman say we will not be recognized by cooking. We will look for more objectives. <laughs> so they formed the organization of the prom, the second step that you can see. And the idea from a the prom was we are women to give life and to defend the life. And today we go on with this uh, words. Today, it was not so easy to go on with soap kitchen because the young women all go out to work and also they doesn't like so hard work. So 15 years before, they gather and made a saving in credit cooperative only for women and directed by women. There was a big discussion. Will we do it with the men or only for women? They had the experience in the soap kitchen to work only by women. And she said, no, we will it better do uh, only by women because the men like cerveza, uh, <laughs> beer, beer. <laughs> like, like beer. <laughs> and so then our money no was so sure. <laughs> Health and human rights, the second. <coughs> Peru have a very big problem with tuberculosis. Today it is the second country in the Americans with highest TB cases, after Brazil in the number of patients. 1976, we began together, TB patients with the objectives to look together for the common problems and search alternatives. So began the association of TB patients. It was very important that the ill who face the same problem can understand their reality and help each other, and also made advocacy for better care and treatment. This was a very important point because the marginalization, the exclusion, and when they were in their own group, they are confident, and so they can speak what was happening in their life. In Peru, we had a big group of health promoters, the second point in this group. They are volunteers, and their organization helped them to improve so that they can become interlocutors before the state. This was very important because the TV patients, they go out to the organization when they finish their treatment, but the health promoters work for many years. With the formation and work groups from the center of Oscar Romero, where Leonardo Rego was the director for many years, the people learned to make political advocacy. Pastoral health, he said. This was another group of volunteers in the different parish of the diocese. They are training and promoting of alternative health care because the poor didn't have access for a good care. The principal answers 
in the economical, social, political, and religious dimension. I will speak about every one of these dimensions. You can read what it said <laughs> about, so I do not I no need it to do it. This, no. I should. Can you read it? Okay. Yes. The next. Ah, yeah. The next. Did everybody have time to read it? <laughs> Do you have time? Yes. <laughs> the urgent needs to manage food service, water, and others, self-management of social programs, better understanding and analysis of the reality, and development and vision for the future. This were some of the very important uh, needs. The next. Social claims. The immigrants from the different provinces of Peru and the poor suffer by a large marginalization. A big problem is the unfairness in the distribution of goods and services. As the people in other uh, places of Lima, they do have water, light, uh, mobilidad, buses, but in the poor places we have to fight for everything that we have water, light, and these things. Acted against discrimination with Indian people, women, poor, and sick. We need an increasing social and civic participation. What are the women's fight. The context of machismo is today very big. We have so much violence against the women and our laws not protected. Uh, tomorrow we will have a big march in Lima and other cities because the laws give free the men who make the violence and so it was enough in the women and other says enough. And so tomorrow, um, we a very big uh, match in Lima, in different cities of Lima. So if I invited you to look perhaps by the television, but sometimes they doesn't bring these kinds in the television. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> in the aim of nutrition and health, a grand number of women organizations had a protagonistic role. Also the government, sometimes they asked them and they invited them, but not to hear reality, their voice, only to say, you are with us and so we can go on. I am political. In the political, we have an unjust reality that needs urgent changes, like exclusive neoliberal policy, decreasing guarantee of human rights, centralism and social marginalization, crisis in the political class. We have a big corruption in Peru. Mm. Limited civic participation in the decision that takes the out authorities. The activities which no respect the nature, like mining, much of our rivers do not have more life. The next. Our proper proposal for organization. Defense and respect of the human rights, especially for the most vulnerable, like ill people, women, elder people, and others. Management policies to overcome social inequality of researchers and services. Stronger articulation of networks and organization for advocacy. To increase the Vigilancia and civic participation. Now, the next. Liberation theology. Faith and hope in the God of life was the energy that encouraged, enlightened, 
accompanied and strengthened social organization. The contribution of the theology of liberation opened minds and paths for the organizations to but a greater commitment to the person most vulnerable. When we read with the people the part in Exodus uh, 3, where your, uh, God say, I see the suffer of my people, I hear their claims, I will go down to liberate them. They say, ah, see, God likes that we do it because he said to us when we go to the march and other things, we are ter a terrorist or communist. And so it was a liberation to see in the Bible that it is the will of God to do anything that we can do for better life and for liberation. The formation of basic Christian communities and the dialogue between church and society from a concrete reality fostered a voice of life. This work very strong, Oscar Romero, El Centro from Oscar Romero. The next. What have we learned? The logic of popular organization is very different to the rational, to the economics. The economics perspective are interested in have more and more incomes for their own. In the popular perspective, they need the active presence of human labor and the life of everyone is important for them. Relations for solidarity, commitment, and reciprocity from the community point of view and the common good take great importance. People from the basic organization have a better view of their reality and propose better ways for the development. From the needs and weakness emerge the people's strength, which is sustained by hope and faith. I think every time in the word of uh, San Pablo, when, he, when I was uh, devil, weak. when I was weak, I was strong. And this I experiment with the Ill, uh, Ill people and also with the women. The next. Key challenge for the future. Fighting poverty and inclusion from the fair distribution of researchers inclusive economic policy. Promotion for more respect for human rights. Protection of the nature, the earth, or commune home. A supportive economic which is not based on profit in private interest, but on the people and their integral development. <coughs> A political class with ethics and social legitimacy. Participation of the citizen in the local and national management. I will show you four photos uh, from some of the things I speak. This is the mobilization for the right to health for the TB patients. The next. Celebrating of the women of Affaire Prom. This is an organization of health promoters. We helped especially persons with TB. The next. The social organization thanks you for your attention. Thank you. <laughs>